Hi, I'm doing day 247 and 248. The vengeful character and this um, point of believing that I require to possess my stuff. Like this point of that's mine and I'm going to protect my stuff and if you touch it you're going to pay. So it's this possession point over things in my world and looking at the point within the origin point, the starting point of why I am so possessive of things and you know if someone touches my stuff I immediately react in you know anger and blame and abuse as this vengefulness. Um, so the point that I see within this is a point of lack within myself, not seeing that or fearing the loss of things because I see that in my world it's, you know, I might not get it back. So defining myself by my stuff and defining myself by money and defining myself by you know, what, how I've ident identified myself with this stuff. And, you know, within the correction point, looking at the point of letting go of my attachments to stuff. And it's a point of, you know, if you see you react, say I react to someone taking my um, watch. Well, it's not my watch, it was my sister's. This happened last night, actually. And I thought I lost it, and immediately I went into my mind that someone stole it. And I was, you know, in my mind going to who we were with last night and trying to figure out who would steal it. And I had, you know, just going off in my imagination of this, that, the other thing before I even realized before anything was even looked at and any common sense was put into it, I just immediately went to this point of revenge, you know, someone's gonna pay, someone stole my watch. So, <clears throat> and eventually I found it in a place where I put it last night that I didn't remember until I found it, so. You know, it's looking, it's letting go of the point of attachment to things and you know realizing that things are here to be used and <clears throat> um, find solutions within the point before going into reaction towards it like you know this watch I should have stopped breathed let it go and went through my stuff first and figured out, you know, where it was, if it was in the spots that, you know, could be where I, I might have put it, um, you know, and then if that wasn't the case, stop and, you know, call the person I was with and see if anyone has it and, you know, figure the point out with common sense and, like, uh, equal solution of the other, like not accusing or going into the point of blame, but you know, walk the point of okay, you know, let's walk some practical steps to find this watch, not immediately go into the blame. So, <clears throat> within this, I also I'm looking at the point of this attachment to watches or to things and why am I so attached to these things because of the money that I paid for them and you know it's a survival point like we're so programmed into survival and you know 
we need to protect everything and we need to protect all our stuff because it's so expensive. So it's really, you know, walking through a process of what we're walking in the Destiny group as this journey to life, um, blogs, everyday writing um, for seven years. Not every day, but like writing for seven years in this journey. You know, you accumulate into daily writing or whatever you can write, the best you can do, so. Um, you know, within this journey, you know, this even this point of survival, there's many dimensions within this that you can open up and walk and clear within yourself so you don't, you know, react in this point of, oh, survival, I need to, you know, hold on to this watch and protect it, it's mine. When really it's just a watch and... You can get another one, it can be replaced if it's lost or, you know, there's ways to find it. If you do lose it or you can practically be here and, you know, use practical steps to, you know, remember where you placed it. So there's many different dimensions that I'm looking at and, um, you know, this point of vengefulness comes in with this attachment and, like, possession point due to survival due to believing that I needed to live and it's so much money defining myself by money and what I have based on you know fearing the losing of it because you know that's losing a lot of money so obviously I'm walking the equal money system which is the system to you know let go of all this and change it so it's not based on survival but based on living and supporting each other and living equal. And so it will be a cool system to walk and change myself within and change these points and practice it in my world now so I can stand and be able to really give as I'd like to receive. Thanks for listening. Enjoy.